Okay, welcome back to Life by Misadventure. Um, so update from yesterday. So one of the things I was going to look at was I was going to do two things. One, I was going to try and organize my thoughts a little better, get something written down, maybe think about an outline to help me frame and tell the story and the stories that I want to tell and to figure out which stories are the ones that I should tell and maybe what I should and shouldn't tell. The other thing was is that I wanted to speak to my friend who was an author and get his mm, tips, if he had any thoughts or tips or tricks or anything about how he thought that maybe I should attack it. Because, of course, like everybody else, I you know, studied English and I had to write papers and I had to write all sorts of stuff. And when I went to school way back in the 70s and, and early 80s, they taught us a structure to always have an outline. So anytime you wanted to attack a research paper or you wanted to do anything big like a book, whatever, it was always best to have an outline so that you understood how it was supposed to flow and that you didn't forget anything and leave anything out. And that's pretty much what um, what he did for me. His name's Keith. And what Keith did for me today was gave me some thoughts from an from an actual published author's perspective on how to attack it. So what I thought I would talk about tonight is what, how did I go about it and how did I get the outline and what did Keith tell me? So maybe let's start with what Keith told me. So what Keith said, and I thought it was really interesting as he said, what you need to do is you need to think back over the period that you want to write about. And he said, you need to pull out a list of all of the important things that you think that you want to talk about. And he said there may be 20, 30, 50, 100, there may be 10, but you pull out that list. And then he said, what you want to do is you want to take that list and you want to put one of the best ones as the very first story. And you want to take a really outrageous one or something like that and make that the very last one. And then you Put the other ones in the middle in some sort of an order that seems to make sense to you, but you sprinkle them through. And then what you do is you take those seven and those are your cornerstone, like the first and the last are your cornerstones, but then the other five are the ones that you put in the middle. So you pick one for the middle of your story and then you have a cup, you know, two on either side and that fills out the main narrative. And then what you do is you take the rest of the items on your list and you use those to then start to fill in the gaps between those two. And what you can do is you can then plan out and you can say, oh, okay, so this leads into that and then that makes sense in that way and you can start to build a story out of it. And I'd never really thought about it that way. I was so sort of stuck in the detail and we'll get to that in just a second. But I thought it was great a great suggestion. So thanks to Keith for that. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have to sit down and, and pull out that list. And one of the ways I want to do that is because this really, this whole story really is, is for my daughters. I wanted to pull out, I want to ask other people which of my stories that they've heard. So my wife, you know, we've been married for 20 years with my son They've heard all my stories tons of times. So I'm asking them to tell me which stories and what things they think are the most interesting and the most entertaining. And then I'll put that into the list with the stuff that I think is important for me. And then hopefully I can come up with a list of 25 or 30 different things. And then we can start to go through and I'll, I'll start to go through and figure out what are the ones that I want to put in and write about and talk about and put on video. So I have a plan and that's sort of the least way I'm going to do it. So the other thing I did aside from doing that is I wanted to, I wanted to start to build an outline, but I wanted a, I wanted to understand from a more general sense, like a more academic sense almost. And I really like the books and you probably can't see them. They're on my bookshelf back there. But I have the Steve Jobs, um, the Elon Musk, both by Walter Isaacson. And, and he's a very, very good 
um, author who's very good at writing biographies and things of people. And so I thought, well, it might be interesting to see how he would attack it. So, of course, I went to chat GPT and I said, if you in the style of Walter Isaacson, how would you organize writing a biography about someone? And it it gave me a nice outline. And then I had to sort of tweak the the prompts a couple of times. I said, OK, I want it to be more generic because it gave me a bunch of stuff about him individually. And I'm like, OK, I don't need the the information about him. So, you know, how would you write it in a generic sense so that any author could use it? And then I asked it to put, you know, my name and my title and everything in there and have it come up with a list. And essentially it came up with, sorry, I've got it on the screen over here. It came up with 10 different sections, which is almost like what Keith said. So it's almost building around 10 things instead of, instead of one. I won't read them all because that would be hugely boring, but essentially it start off with an introduction, which is kind of what I started to do a little bit yesterday um, and what I've done over the past couple of videos. So, you know, why do I want to do this thing? A brief overview of the pivotal themes. So what are the big, what are the big parts of, what are the big movements? So growing up in Memphis, moving around the U.S., moving to the U.K., getting married, getting married again later, you know, having kids, those sorts of things are, those are the big movements, I think. And then there's sort of childhood and early influences. So that would be kind of, you know, early mid seventies, then education and formative years. So that's looking at the early 80s pretty much then you get into career and professional life then personal life and relationships triumphs and challenges so it after it moves off of sort of career and professional life and your personal and relationships it then gets into more esoteric type stuff and more kind of philosophical areas you know triumphs and challenges um philosophy and and beliefs later life and reflections. So again, this is getting into more where I am now and then looking forward. And then there's the appendices at the end. So I won't read all the bullet points, but, but there are bullet points underneath each one of those. But I think that will give some structure to what I'm trying to do here. And it will at least give me some buckets to think about and then to start actually filling in. So what I'll do over the next couple of days, if I'm away and I'm at my in-laws, I may not get to record something. I'll try and do my diet um, video because I'll just do that on a mobile. But th to do this sort of thing, it won't be the right atmosphere to do this. So what I will do, though, is that I will endeavor to work on this and to try and drop some stories and some themes under each one of these headings that I want to get into a little bit more. And then that will give that should give me a little bit better of an outline of the stuff that I want to talk about. There are, I also realized today there are some, I know I mentioned this before that I have to be careful about people's names, but there are some, there are some stories in there that I need to be really careful. I think about telling not, not because, not because I am worried about any impact on me, but because they do a, they do and can affect other people. And there's some pretty serious shit in there. And I need to be careful about how I do that. So I, I, if I can figure out how to tell the stories that I want to tell in the right way, then I will tell them. It's awkward. It's really awkward. Um, I think if I wrote it in a book, it might not be so bad, but I think if I'm just sitting and telling the stories, I just need to be careful. So maybe some of those I need to think about and I might need to write down first and almost get a script together so that I don't veer off and, and have some other people sort of help me with that to make sure. And I think there's a couple of stories that probably are for family only. And again, they're just super, super personal, not to me. If, if we met on the street, and you asked me about it, I would be happy to tell you about it. It's, it's again, it's not for me. And I've worked through all this stuff in the past, but it does involve other people. And I think other people might be much more sensitive to it. And so I have to be conscious and careful of that. So I think I really wanted to do this every day and just tell a little story every day. And I'm going to endeavor to do that. But I also need to make sure that 
I want to tell the big stories as well. And I don't just want to focus on on the little stuff. I want to tell the big stuff too, but I just need to make sure that I do it in a way that it doesn't unintentionally harm someone else. So I just need to be careful. Um, and that's that's all. So that's all that's on my mind today. But I'm actually quite excited because I now have I have an outline of something to work against. The other thing I realized is, is that I have a lot of like I have a list of places that I lived, which will, A, could be interesting to have as an appendix, and B, it will also prompt me potentially to remember stories about places that I'd forgotten that I'd been or something that happened in a particular place and that sort of thing. And I have a lot of this stuff documented already, and I have some family history stuff documented as well. So I can, again, because this is from a really for well, it's for whatever, posterity's sake, let's call it. Um, I think it'd be interesting to get into some of the family as well and talk a little bit about that. So I might do that at some point also. But again, I need to I need to access a bunch of old information that I, I haven't had, and it's like burnt onto a CD somewhere. And I, I don't even have a CD. I mean, I haven't had a DVD player or a CD player on my laptop in years so I'm going to have to buy an external player so that I can load that up and then sift through some of my archive files and try and get some of that together. So again, I will try and do that and get stuff together. So bear with me. Again, I'm going to try and do a little bit every day. Um, you know, one of the things is, again, why did I, you know, why did I decide to do this? I think I've talked about it a little bit, but I might try and organize my thoughts a little better, maybe go through that again. And... <clears throat> A, a brief overview of pivotal themes, so adventure resilience, learning from missteps, those sorts of things. So some of the big movements. So I might try and make some notes about that and then maybe do a little bit around that. And again, this is all just building up and I kind of want to do it chronologically because it makes sense that way to me to start at the beginning and, and move forward. But I expect there'll be some crossover between them as well. So bear with me. Um, I appreciate it. If anybody's watching this, I appreciate that you're watching. Please hit the subscribe button and click the bell because it may not be every day. So you may want to get notified um, when I do post something and just stick with it. And hopefully, you know, some of the stories I tell are interesting. And again, you know, if if my daughters do watch this and I hope they find it informative and that maybe they learn something about me that they didn't know before. And that's really the point of this whole exercise. So um, I just got to keep that in mind and we'll see where we go from there. So it's Friday night. It's 11 o'clock. So I'm going to wrap this up, do a quick edit. I'll get this posted tonight and then it may be Monday or so before I get another video up on, on this, I'll, but I'll, I'll keep updating the diet stuff. So anyway, everybody enjoy your weekend. We will catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.